Michael Dorn, Worf, Star Trek The Next Generation, and Deep Space Nine. Well, when I was a kid, I watched the first original show, and we thought it was insanely good. First of all, because it was what we liked, you know, it was wagon train to the stars, as Gene used to say. Which I had, because I wanted to sell it. And also you had different races and different cultures on the ship for the first time in a long, ever. So we really liked that. I mean, you saw Nichelle Nichols, which was a big thing for us, because you just never saw that before. And, you know, there was Sulu and, and Chekhov, who was a Russian. And so it became a thing that we really enjoyed. And it was great television. It was exciting and fun and, and funny in a lot of places. That is a human emotion, Doctor, with which I'm totally unfamiliar. It was the best of television in those days. When I landed the gig, it wasn't about, oh my God, I'm doing Star Trek. It was like, oh my God, I have a job. I mean, that seriously was all we were thinking about was being able to have a, a job to go to and not just a guest star. I think I was the only one that had a series before, or that did a series before. But it was, it was just a, a recurring role on a show back in the 80s. But we all were working actors. We all had done guest spots in a lot of different shows, comedies and dramas. And so that's what we did. And for actors to get a series or to get a pilot for a series, that's like, you know, you, you grab the brass ring. And so that's all we cared. We were just like, oh, great, you know, now I can, you know, afford a, a car, you know, or, or something, you know, you can afford to, to be comfortable for a couple of years. Nobody predicted it was gonna be like this at all. Nobody could tell us that. I mean, they said that, oh, your life is gonna change because you're working, but nobody said you're gonna be doing conventions 30 years from now. My character Worf began as a ensign on the Enterprise the first year of Next Generation. Permission to clean up the bridge. And he developed from there to a commander on Deep Space Nine. I am Klingon! Worf is sort of the... <laughs> Dr. Bashir or Pat, uh, Sadig said it best. He brought a zippity kind of machismo to Star Trek. I do not smirk, but if I did, this would be a good opportunity. Because he was a guy who had no fear and he was ready to fight, he was ready to charge into battle, sometimes foolheartedly, but I didn't realize until lately that he really doesn't have any fear and that's a, that's a really good thing for Star Trek. It is a good day to die, Doris. There are two in Next Generation and two in Deep Space Nine. The two in Next Generation were the drumhead Tell me, Captain, have you completely recovered from your experience with the Borg? One, I love courtroom dramas, and The Drumhead was a courtroom drama. Really wonderful. Great performances. Gene Simmons, the actress from the old days, she was on there, and she was fantastic. And Patrick Stewart was excellent. Yes, I have completely recovered. And I, and I really love that one. And then The Offspring, where Daddy Bill's a child. To prepare, I have scanned all available literature on parenting. I thought there were some wonderful performances in that. Data, I am not talking about parenting. I am talking about the extraordinary consequences of creating a new life. And interestingly enough, they were both directed by Jonathan Frakes. And then on Deep Space, it was once more into the breach. Get out of here before I forget we are brothers. And Soldiers of the Empire, which were Klingon episodes. They are Klingon warriors. We just cannot say well made by decision. We will not cross the border. I think they were the first two episodes that were like Klingon, really Klingon episodes. You saw what they were like and their whole culture and you know their weaknesses and their things that they, that they dream about and things that they want to do. I mean, it didn't just scratch the surface. And those are my favorite. I had a long discussion with Nana about where all this stuff comes from as an actor. And I just do it, you know? I just kind of like, I think about what is the most interesting thing I can do in a role uh, that hasn't been done. So I did feel that it was important, especially the one where Once Born to the Breach where the old Klingon core dies. That was important. For me, Worf is always this rock in the middle of all this chaos. You look to him and he's gonna be who he is. He may alter it, he may you know, kind of say, well, wait a minute, maybe I should, but 
he's going to be the rock in, in every episode. I do apologize again for the inconvenience. I did not intend to cause so much damage.